Hi, OBT. Hope you're having a great week so far. We want you to know that there's been changes to the Wednesday night schedule. If you're involved with Wednesday nights and attend in person, you'll want to read those emails that help us space out how many folks are in the building at one time. We are still offering a virtual presence for our Wednesday night activities. You'll want to check out Facebook and the emails for that information. But please read those emails. If you did not receive the emails from Lisa Jordan, please let me know and we can get you those uh, emails for your information for this evening's programs. Christmas applications are in full swing. This year we're doing online only for those in our community that need some assistance with toys and food this season. If you are someone who usually helps with that or would like to help with that process, we need people to call those who have applied online just to clarify information, get further information, and have a human contact in those families' lives. So there is a sign up form online. I'm gonna put the link in the comments on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube in the notes section. Same for uh, Wednesday night programming. We'd like you to reserve a spot, not because we're trying to keep anyone out, but we're trying to get an idea of how many are going to join us in person this evening. So in the comments section on Facebook, in the notes section on YouTube, I'm gonna put a link to that registration form and we're asking you to fill that out if you're joining us in person this evening. We are thrilled that cadets Joe and April Alvarez will be with us for the Christmas season as our Christmas season interns. Uh, we look forward to getting to know their family a little better and to helping them in their journey toward officership. We also want you to know that there is a new series starting this weekend. Uh, Cadet Joe Alvarez is going to start us off. The series is called Enough is Enough, and we're going to be looking at contentment, stewardship, uh, just knowing when we have enough in our lives, and knowing, most importantly, that through Jesus Christ, we are enough. Uh, we look forward to this series and what it's going to uh, show us and how God's going to speak to us through His Word. Please know today that you are loved and prayed over. We're hoping you're having a great week, and we look forward to how God's going to continue to move in our midst. God bless you.